Are you looking for some awesome effects? Get access to thousands of exclusive premium effects, free effects as well, with their super affordable pro memberships. Click the link in the description. What's up guys, these are the most epic transitions in Vegas Pro 16. Alright guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 15, we're gonna recreate this amazing effect that you have get, that you guys have seen in the intro. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some nice copyright free stock footage clips and we're gonna go ahead and start off. There are two methods that we can use and we're gonna start off with the first one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new video track. We're going to put this guy over it and I would say for example like this amount. Then we're gonna cut it right here and cut it right here so those are, cuts are aligned with our mark. Now that what you need to do is go to the top event pan crop icon as you can see the effects open what we need to do is we need to place our marker at the bottom and place it all the way to the right now then what we need to do is we need to click on this icon until it says moved in x only and then we're gonna drag this guy to there until it is on the fine edge like that and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that for the opposite on the track below it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on Ivan pan crop and we're gonna drag this guy to the opposite side at the beginning and then we're gonna go drag this marker all the way to the right and then we're gonna hit restore so this is what it looks like So that's the first way that you can create this whip pan and transition, but I would just recommend the second one, which is what we're gonna do right now. So we're gonna just pick a little different footage. Then what we're gonna do is we need to go ahead and create a crossfade. So drag this guy over it until we see those lines. The longer the lines are, the slower the transition is going to be. So this is really slow, this is really, really fast. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to go to our transitions tab and we want to pick BCC Swish Pan. This effect is really, really nice and we're gonna recreate it in this video. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to decide the order of the clips. I'm gonna start off with just a few stock footage as you can see from people driving in a car like that and then we have some nice b-roll stock footage and some driving again and we're gonna add in some awesome music from no copyright sounds obviously to make it even more epic so what we need to do first is we're going to drag in the song that we're gonna use which is this song it's called what is said by killer cats So that's a really nice song and we're gonna look for the drop. Here it is. There we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim it down and we're gonna start off with the clip. Right here it goes a little bit less loud, this part. Before the next beat is dropping so then we were gonna cut it to the next clip so when the next beat is starting this one we're gonna cut it then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the other clip and we're gonna put it to each other and then what we're gonna do is right here when the silent part starts 
We're not going to cut anything, we're not going to slow anything down or speed anything up. We're going to use velocity. So we're going to right click and we're going to click on insert or remove envelope and we're going to click on velocity. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the green line and we're going to add a point. Right here at the very end we're going to also right click and add in another point. We're going to just drag this guy up so it speeds up the part just a little. Check it out. As you can see and then it cuts to the next clip. And we're going to do that for the same one, but then the opposite. So right click again, insert envelope, velocity, right click, add in a point, And then we're going to add in a point right here as well. And we're going to drag this guy up to the same height like that. So this is what it looks like. That looks really, really nice. But what we're going to do is we're going to make this point just a little bit more to the left. And then when the next beat drops right here, we're going to cut it again. And then we're going to just add in the other clip. So we're going to just pick this B-roll stock footage. And then we're going to do just the same. We're going to right click, add in a point, and then right here, add in another point. Drag this guy up and then do that for the opposite on the other clip. And then that is how to create the effect. So we're going to just go ahead and click on add point. And then we're going to drag it up again like that. For like the first little second, it's going to be really, really fast. And then it just goes to the normal tempo like this. As you can see, the cars are moving like real fast for just such a slow period. I think it's like just a fraction of a second. As you can see, and then they slow down. And that is how to create this amazing effect. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to just add in the next clip right here. Then we're going to drag in this clip of a car driving uh, like that. Boom. And then we're going to do it again. What we just did add in a point and then right there another point. Do that for the opposite on the same clip on the other clip. Insert velocity. Create a nice point, create another point, drag this guy up. Also, you can control the speed of this transition by if you're going to put this guy to the left, it's going to be shorter. If you're going to drag this little point to the right, it's going to be longer. And that is how you create the amazing speed ramping transition. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make the awesome shake blur transition that I've never done before on the channel. So make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 15 and what you need for this is basically two different clips so we can create the actual transition. Okay, so we're going to start off by the first clip and we're going to go ahead and for example, pick around right here and we're going to also do that for the beginning of the next clip, which is going to, which is and we're going to cut right here. So once we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on the event fan crop icon of the very first clip. And then this box is popping up. And what we want to do is make sure that sync cursor is checked. Then what you want to do is we're going to go to the beginning of the clip and we want to just go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. And we want to create some keyframes all around. And so that's going to look 
for and that's gonna look like the shake transition so once we've done that we're gonna just go ahead and zoom in and just go ahead across the screen just a random a few times doesn't really matter where the position is just make sure that it is nice and moving we're gonna go ahead and create a new keyframe right here place it a little bit up and then at the end the last keyframe we're gonna go ahead and place it like that okay so now that we made the keyframes what we're gonna do is pretty simple we're gonna copy all of them so we're gonna go ahead and hold or left control and we're gonna click on them and as you can see those little dots in the keyframe appear so we're gonna do that for all the keyframes and we're gonna make sure that we have them all selected and then we want to press control C now I want to mention that you also have to right click on on just one of the keyframes and put that one to smooth so once we've done that, we're gonna go to the first bit of the second clip. We're gonna go to the event pan crop and we're gonna just basically press Control V or paste all the keyframes. So once we've done that, all the keyframes are in here and we want to also make sure that we put everything to smooth. So now that we've done that, we are just basically done for the masking and for the uh, moving part. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go to video effects and we're gonna scroll down until we see linear blur that is right here. And we're gonna pick the 30 degree light. So we're gonna drag that on top of the first clip as you can see. And then we're gonna do where the amount button is, we're gonna click on animate. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we put the beginning of the keyframe to zero. And at the very end, the last keyframe, we wanna put that one, we wanna put that one to around zero. 0.200 so now that we have done that what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exact opposite on the next clip we're gonna go to the animation button of the second clip we're gonna start with 0.200 and at the end we're going to put that one down to zero okay so once we have completed all the steps this is basically what it looks like And as you guys can see, that is how to create an awesome shake blur transition in Vegas Pro 15. So that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to smash the like button down below if you find this video helpful and awesome and just obviously useful in general. But that's going to be it, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to check also the description if you want to get a shout out in my next video. Anybody that gets the pro membership on the link below will get a shout out in my next video. So that's it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Yeah, 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 yeah